In the last video for the actual solid tools, we'll finish off with the last three of them. First one is the elliptical cone solid. And now we're getting into some rather esoterical shapes. Lots of information in the tool settings window, which we'll see why this is so in a second. I'm simply going to data point rather than set values. So now I'm entering the primary radius of my ellipse. So we're not seeing a circle here, we're seeing an ellipse. There's the primary radius, and my secondary radius will be in that direction. And I must define the height. I'm going to put orthogonal on for this. Here comes the height of my elliptical cone. And I can data point, and I can truncate if I want to. So I'm going to leave it there. So this looks like a lot of information, but you are in fact drawing two ellipses if it's truncated. So base primary, base secondary for the first ellipse, and then if you truncate, primary and secondary radius for the truncation, and the height of course. So try that too. I'm going to undo it. Go to the next tool, which is ellipsoid. We only have a primary, secondary radius, and a tier tree. You'll see how that works in a second. So we'll start, enter center point, drag down. Here comes my ellipse, and I'm defining again the primary radius and the secondary radius, and then the tier tree, which is really how squashed is my ellipsoid. And if I data point, then I have my ellipsoid. It's really essentially a football shape. Let's rotate that so you see just what actually it is. There. Undo that. And the last one is polyhedron. You can make them by vertexes, by edges, or by faces. You should try all three methods. Axis is points again. You can set a radius if you wish. And you do need to set a face number, choice of between 4 and 20. I'm using 20 because it's more interesting. Data point, define the radius and axis, and data point, and there we have it. Let's do a rotation on that. And we see that we have a nice polyhedron. Go and practice those three. They are, like I said, very esoteric shapes. And for most of you, you won't ever come across a drawing that requires these. But if you're into some heavy duty stuff, then yes, you will.